Um, I just want to start off kind of addressing uh, an answer I gave last time. Um, you know, I meant no disrespect to Malik uh, or anything close to that. Um, we've been in constant communication since he was drafted, you know, through the madness that ensued after my last press conference. And, um, you know, over the last few weeks as he's been in the building and, and kind of getting to know each other. And he's a, he's a good person. Uh, he's a talented player. He, he's coming off a great college career. And so, you know, we're happy to have him in the room. Um, really just kind of disappointed in, in how things got spun and, um, and twisted a little bit. You know, I, I pride myself on being a great teammate. I have my whole career. Um, going back to the time I was, I was a kid, you know, playing youth sports, it's been something that's been important to me, you know, from the beginning and will always be important to me. It's, it's a, something I'll try to instill in my kids as they start playing, uh, you know, youth sports is, is being a great teammate. And when I say that, I mean, you know, trying to help out whether it's on the field, off the field, supporting each other, um, and just building those relationships. And as time goes on, some relationships grow deeper, and you build friendships, and then you're there for each other just like uh, you are with, with any other friends. And, you know, some of my best friends in the world have come in football locker rooms and, you know, started off um, just as teammates and then and have grown into, into friends. So uh, I think it's, uh, it's important. Um, you know, another thing that, that I think kind of got blown out of proportion is when I said the word compete. You know, I compete every time I step foot on that football field. Um, I compete against myself and, and the player I was the day before, the lessons I learned, the little things that I pick up off the tape. I'm competing against the defense if we're going against the defense. And if we're, we're doing QB drills, and I'm competing against whoever else is out there. That's just how I'm wired. I love to compete. I love to win. I freaking hate losing, you know, no matter what it is. So you know, whether it's a, a small drill on the football field or – I know playing playing a game at the house. I freaking love to win, and I'm going to compete. You know, every time I have the, the chance to. So, um, you know that that was kind of frustrating for me as well. You know, I think that um, you know we're going to continue to to push each other, to learn from each other in the QB room, uh, encourage each other as as this thing goes forward. Yeah, we're all here for one goal. My primary focus is to win football games. As everyone in this building, you know, that's that's our goal is is to do what it takes to go win football games. And um, so that's what we're going to do. You know, starts at a personal level and then builds, you know, as we get into team and, and um, you know, pushing the guys, leading the guys around you. So um, I'm excited for this upcoming season. Man, it's been slanted this offseason, just how things have been uh, kind of thrown, thrown at it. But I'm excited. You know, regardless of what's been out there, I'm excited about this season, excited about the opportunity we have. I'm excited about uh, the work that we've been able to put in the past few weeks. Uh, with the guys that have been here and, and uh, just working on details, working on uh, you know, tweaks and concepts, just understanding what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish. And then uh, you know, as we get into these practices, you know, going against the defense and translating it from, uh, from meetings and from individual to, to team reps. So it's really good work. I'm, I'm excited about what we've got accomplished and look forward to kind of carrying this momentum from this offseason, from this spring as we keep going here for a few more weeks and then carry it into the, into the fall for the upcoming season. So you mentioned how that kind of took off like wildfire. I was going to, you know, wrap it up, but you guys are <laughs> eager, <laughs> eager. All right. Fire away. You mentioned how that kind of took off like wildfire. I mean, did you have, feel the need to say anything to Malik when he came in here? Like, Hey, this is not what I'm about, what you've heard about me. And, and what yeah, we were, we were communicating the, the whole time, you know, as soon as it blew up, I reached out to him and, um, you know, said, hey, I'm going to be a great teammate to you. I'm going to support you. And, you know, they're making this out to something that it's not to be. You know, it's uh, not not what it's been made out to be at all. And he's been good. And he was great with it throughout the, the whole time. You know, as soon as I reached out to him, he's like, yeah, I can't believe that it's it's blown into this. So uh, things that were great from, with us from the beginning and, you know, have continued to be great. And, and it's been great to, to have him in the room and get to know him as a person. And, you know, we'll continue to build that relationship. The word mentor Ryan and the way maybe different people interpret the word mentor might have played a part in you know things getting twisted around or, or yeah no doubt you know I, I think that you know I take that word seriously there's a few people that I count as mentors and there's a, hundreds of people that have helped me out throughout my, my life and my career but there's only a few people that, that I consider mentors so um, you know mentorship is something that both people have to want both people have to you know agree to kind of enter into that and it's going to take a lot of time energy and focus yeah. he, he agrees he agrees with me he agrees with me uh you know so yeah i think that uh, that definitely played into it
Trump held his for these press conferences, but how important was it for you to come back out here, kind of set the record straight and get that off your chest? Yeah, it was good. Man. It was just frustrating, like I said, just how everything kind of got spun, and it's kind of the opposite. You know, I feel like most of you guys kind of probably had a sense of who I am and, and what I'm about. So to see how things just got, got completely twisted and, and thrown in the opposite direction just hurt. You know, it's like when you get made out to, to be something you're not and um, something you're intentional about your, your whole career then kind of gets thrown the opposite way, it's just uh, not, a, not a fun position to be in. If it bothered you, and it, cl it clearly did, why wait from that press conference to this press conference? You could have picked up the phone or called somebody. You got, you're on social media. So and it seems like it kind of stewed inside you. Why wait however long it's been to address it? Yeah, it was just so, such a firestorm. And, and when it's in the middle of the firestorm and you have everyone has their strong opinions and uh, – their thoughts on it, you know, I think that if I would have come out and, you know, said something in the middle of it, that's just going to further carry it on. And, um, you know, for me, I had to, uh, to mentally just work through, work through it. And uh, I knew I'd have another chance to talk to you guys and uh, some time would pass and things would die down. Um, and I don't think it would have, would have necessarily quieted the situation if I did come out and say something right away. So I just felt like it was right to, uh, to uh, you know, let it pass and and um, you know, wait for the opportunity to, to come speak to you guys again. What was the most Mike immediately. You heard about this during this press in, question, in terms of other people talking about it. You know, what what stood out to you the most in terms of this entire storm? Um, I don't know. Just the the general sense of of how things turned. You know, I, I wasn't like watching the shows or reading reports or anything like that. Um, just I had a general sense of of how things were going and, and the direction it was going. So um, I can't say one thing in particular, um, just the overall sense of you know, how I was being portrayed. And um, like I said, just pride myself on being a great teammate and, and will always do that. Frankel immediately came to your defense the next time he was in front of us. Uh, did you have any conversation with him in the aftermath or did he reach out to you at all? Yeah, we talked briefly. You know, I just kind of went to him. I was like, wow, that escalated quickly. and. Uh, He's like, yeah, he, he said, I thought you handled yourself really well and was, was very encouraging and supportive of, of the entire press conference. So, um, you know, great to have his support. I mean, he understood. He knows who I am and what I'm about and, and what I meant when I said that. And, um, you know, I think everyone in this building I had great support from everyone in this building through the, through the whole process. You know, coming in the, the building, guys were supporting me, and um, they know what I'm about and, and the kind of person I am. So that's what helped me sleep at night. Um, just knowing that I that I had support from my teammates and, and people in the building, because you know they know what I'm about and, and how I carry myself and um, we're supportive through the process. So um, you know it's good to have that. We've seen Malik uh, only twice, and in that span, to our non-professional eye, it looks like he's tweaked some things and has already gotten better. What what do you see in him as a mechanical, technical quarterback? Hey, he's out here working. You know, I think that's been good. Is uh, you know, he's kind of coming up to speed with, with the way we work, the way we do things, and, and how we do things. So um, that's one of my charges as a leader of the room is to, to uh, try to help him out. And, and he's done a good job of, of getting with the room and, and um, working to get better. You know, we're all out there just working to get better each and every day, and he's doing that. After a couple of years of you and Logan and Barkley, Simeon, Hogan, somewhat veteran guys, how different is it to have a rookie in that room right now? Oh, it is different. You know, it just – um, he's figuring it out. You know, I think uh, I can vaguely remember being a rookie <laughs> way back in uh, 11 years ago. And, um, you yeah, know, you're just kind of figuring out. It's coming at you fast. You're, you're drinking through a, a fire hose and uh, trying to soak up as much information and, and figure it out. So, uh, you know, we're trying to, trying to help him along with that process, and he's doing a great job so far. How's, chem how's the chemistry process coming along with guys like Woods and, and Burks and Hooper, some of the new faces? Yeah, it's been it's been fun, man. I've enjoyed working with those guys. Uh, you know, Robert's running a little bit now, so you know, getting to see him in, in some uh, RVA looks and excited about that, man. He's smooth. Uh, and really enjoy throwing him the football. You know, Hooper's the guy who's been working with us for uh, since I've been here, and and uh, just that connection is growing. You know, we saw him make some plays today. He's got some some great size and strength and length, and uh, that's definitely a, a help for him, and it will help us offensively. Uh, and you mentioned Burks, a guy who's, uh, you know, dealing with some things, and and uh, we're we're trying to get him back on the field and, and get him going again. Um, but obviously, you see the size, you see the strength, 
um, you know, see him in, in just that, uh, that open field tackle drill, you know, you know, he's going to be a one cut guy. He's, he's, he's running, he's big, he's strong. Um, so, um, haven't thrown a lot of balls to him yet, but, uh, looking forward to, uh, to him getting back on the field and, and, um, you know, competing with us. You worked a little bit with Dez, uh, during the off season and maybe what, what do you think is maybe next for him, him in year two? Yeah, no doubt. Dez is, is working. You know, he came down to, to Florida, threw with me for a few days and, um, got some good work down in there. Um, He's working and excited to, to see the progress he's made. He made a, a tough catch today coming across the, the middle, safety on his back, con through the contact, and just great play strength to, to finish the play and, and make the catch across the middle. So, you know, as a quarterback, you trust the guy, tight window, you know, defender on their back, you make the throw, uh, and he makes the play for you. That gives you a lot of confidence to be able to come back and, uh, and throw into those tight windows and make the plays. Now it's all about consistency, you know, just coming out on a daily basis and, and doing it. Building chemistry with a veteran who comes in new, like Hooper or Woods, than it is with a rookie who comes in, like Burks and Phillips and Chig. Uh, it's a little bit different, you know. I think that uh, there's just a little bit more general understanding a lot of times from a veteran player. You know, they've played played more football, frankly, and um, kind of understand how things work. And you know, you might have called it something differently, but they they've repped things in the past. You know, a lot of these guys coming out of college haven't run these types of concepts or, or in different types of offenses. So um, they're just having to pick up more information and, and incorporate it into the game. But ultimately, it just comes down to, to getting the reps, seeing it seeing it happen, whether you know I'm throwing the ball or just seeing it on tape there on a backside route or something. I always take a peek at the, how those guys run their routes. Were they able to win? Uh, did, they, did they use their leverage right? And I just file it away and just know, like, hey, now I can trust it and come back to that guy. On a, on a later opportunity. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit different, but at the end of the day, it just takes a little bit of time and, um, and reps. Ryan, after the last couple of years, a lot of protocols, to be back this year and be in person every day during OTAs and get all the normal field work, how beneficial can that be for you, especially given some of the new receivers? Yeah, I think it was important. You know, this year, especially just with, with all the, the new faces we have uh, offensively at skill positions, you know, um, you know a couple of years past we had a bunch of returning guys and so might not have, have mattered quite as much but you got a bunch of new guys guys you haven't thrown the ball to uh, these reps are, are important I'm enjoying getting to know these guys on a personal level I'm getting to know how they play how they move and are just building that chemistry um, from a passing standpoint how important are you that Des Roberts is out here not only from his recovery standpoint and your chemistry standpoint but even as a leadership role in that specific locker room yeah, no doubt. He's a he's a veteran presence, a guy who does things the right way. You know, you can tell from the first conversation I had with him that he loves ball. He loves you know being around the game and is going to try to do things the way we want to do it. So, you add a, a veteran guy like that to our team to the wide receiver room. You know, we know that that they're in good hands and he's going to steer them in the right direction. Ryan, at uh, rookie minicamp, Malik was saying that you had. Um I guess some of the r offensive rookies over at your house or something. Is that something you do every year um, with kind of the, the offense or how does that, or is that kind of a first time thing? Yeah, I had, I had two kind of ways. I had uh, the whole, uh, whole offensive skill rookies included. And then the next week I had all the, the old, sorry. Yeah. Skill. And the next week I had all the old linemen. Um, so my house is not quite set up for like 50 people, but we can, we can break it up into a couple different groups there. Um, but yeah, we weren't able to do that the past couple of years just with the COVID protocols and all of that. So it's been been fun just having guys at the house and uh, hanging out, eating some food, and you know watching some basketball and just uh, chilling. You know, here we're working a lot of times, and you don't get to kind of kick it. You know, so uh, to be able to to spend some of that time together away from away from the building, away from the field, uh, has been a lot of fun. You served, did you serve? You serve meat. Dinner? What was, what was, what was the sentence? Yeah, I spent hours and hours, you know, whipping up. No, I, uh, I catered some food and uh, definitely I, I over ordered a little bit, but uh, you know, we were able to donate, it, donate the food, so it all went to, uh, to a good cause. Just to put kind of a cap on it for clarity's sake, uh, I know I look back at quotes that, that you had about what Matt Moore did, did for you in, in Miami, and I hear what you're saying about being a good teammate. So, so what is your thinking about the mentoring part of your job now w with Malik? Like I said, I'm going to be a good teammate. I'm going to support him. I'm going to uh, help, encourage, uh, push him. You know, I think that's uh, those are all important things and, and things that I'm going to continue to do. When you came in, Malik, was the word 
voluntary at this time of year interpreted differently? And is it, is, is it an adjustment for you to see sort of limited number of guys out here at this time of year? Yeah, it's probably changed a little bit. And, um, you know, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. You know, I think this time of year is, is for getting yourself mentally and physically ready to, to go play your best in, in the fall. And that looks different for everybody, you know. Um, for me, this year is important to, to get on the same page with a bunch of these new faces. And everyone's kind of doing their process to, uh, to do what's best on uh, getting themselves to go play their best ball in the fall. So um, everyone kind of has to make that individual decision. And um, yeah, I think it's overall, it's a good thing. I felt like last year with all the injuries, you just continued to have new weapons every single week. Does that help and does that give you confidence and you know, dealing with a bunch of new guys this year that you were able to do it, it seemed like week to week last season? Yeah, it was uh, kind of a revolving door at, at certain times. Um, that's just the way that, that we preach, like next man up mentality. Uh, you know, we have, have guys that have, have stepped in throughout my, my time here, stepped in and, and played huge for us in games and um, helped us win a lot of games. So uh, we're going to keep pushing that mentality, keep pushing that thought process of, you know, you may not be the first guy up, but when you get your opportunity, you want to step in and take advantage of it. So uh, something I believe in and have seen work here. So uh, excited to, uh, to keep pushing that mentality as we move forward.